Greetings, Kropja here, and this is Raid Shadow Legends free to play a cop continuation after Hades free to play challenge for 2024. Hey guys, so yeah, in previous episodes uh, I was presenting what I'm doing, so building uh, Ultra Nightmare Combos uh, team, and I would say I get pretty good news uh, about that, about the progress, so I'll be presenting that uh, shortly. But before that, I would like to um, mentioned that uh, recently pop up new uh, very interesting video that uh, on Colred plays uh, channel when I'm uh, discussing with Colred and Big Power Drog about our um, experience in this free to play challenge so if you haven't saw it already so feel free to um, visit his channel and take a look at what's going on there very interesting very fun Pretty long, yeah, but very informative, so you can find some interesting tips there. I will post uh, the link to this uh, video uh, in the comments. Please also let me know in the comments what you like to uh, know from, uh, from me uh, about my uh, progression here and uh, maybe you have some ideas about uh, f future, future videos so I can bring here on the channel uh, Call Red or Big Papa Drog to discuss different topics so please see, let me know. Okay, uh, so let's jump in now uh, to the main topic so it will be yeah, uh, Clan Boss Demon Lord. Uh, so today, um, so generally yesterday I've started testing my team and yeah that's my score here. Uh, so, 4 keys, uh, 91 mils, millions, yeah. So, this is totally enough for the uh, top chest, for the Ultra Nightmare, Demon Lord, which is super cool, I'm happy with that. Yeah, um, so, we'll have fight in one hour, almost two hours, so that uh, will be next part of this uh, video. But let me quickly present what's the setup. So here I'm running um, clan boss 2 to 1, so that's the ratio, so my guys are running uh, twice when clan boss once. And let's take a look to the setup. So we got Heikatun, or Heikatun. Yeah, so uh, she's a speed lead, a 19% uh, speed boost for uh, all, the, all the team. Uh, she's starting with her a a2, so this is increased speed for all allies plus uh, thermometer fuel. Uh, she's running pretty fast, but not something crazy, so 248. So that, that's her. O of course, some uh, s defensive stats, so we need some kind of defense, uh, 3500 uh, and so some HP over uh, 50k. Next, Valerie. Also good defense stats, uh, plus uh, is, uh, speed, so speed is very important, because this is speed tune uh, team, so just changing speed by one or two, uh, you're breaking the speed tune, so you need to be <laughs> uh, careful about that. Yeah, so 248 Haikatun, 228 uh, Valerie, so she's main uh, work is to increase the duration of all buffs. So this is very crucial uh, to work in this team because she will extend the speed that Hypekadon brings and also all the buffs that uh, Toragi and uh, Brogni also brings to the table. Okay, so Toragi uh, 226 uh, speed, uh, so yeah, he's not using A2, uh, so ally protect on three turns, so Valery will be extending that. Uh, to four turns, uh, so two three turns. Yeah, that's correct. Okay, then Brogni. Uh, Brogni um, increase attack plus uh, block debuffs. Okay, got small distraction, but let's back. Okay, um, so block uh, debuffs. So that this is very crucial for um, Demon Lord uh, ability to stun your champs. So this will prevent to do that uh, in this speed tune and also uh, for the slows from the uh, Spirit Affinity clan boss. Also increase attack, big shields, yeah, so the, the, he is very 
uh, good uh, for the clan boss uh, teams, especially if you are extending those um, buffs. Okay, A2, yeah, so this is also very good, uh, just removing a random buff, the, the, this is work, working perfectly. Uh, in the clan was because he, he is on the affinity increasing his attack. Uh, his attack. Uh, then on A1 got HP burn, 60% uh, chance, this is also huge, uh, and this is huge because of the synergy with Ratalos passive, so more damage, less damage to Ratalos, um, huge. And yeah, Rotalos big damage uh, build. Yeah, uh, so speed uh, 165, uh, so pretty slow, I would say. Uh, Brogni uh, 193. So that the speed. So if you would like to see it um, in the um, clan boss Deadwood uh, Jedi calculator, uh, I have something, uh, so maybe I can record new uh, video about that, but only if you uh, will put uh, something in the comments that you'd like to see. Um, yeah, so that's the team, so now uh, let's wait for the clan boss to reset and let's do the run. Okay, so we are a few hours later, finally the red dot on the battle and clan boss is, is, is on, so yeah, I'm excited to see what we'll get for the first Ultra Nightmare top chest. Yeah, let's claim it. Okay, blue shard, that's good. Let's sell it. And what else? And void shard. That's pretty decent rewards. I would say, yeah, there's a Okay, um, so now let's go uh, to the fight and see how it works. Uh, so it is not full auto, uh, so let me show. So we are starting, uh, so first round is on auto, then I need to pause. So after the first hit from the clan boss. Okay, now. Auto is off, so A1 from Hikatoon and A1 from Valerie and here is the most important thing, A1 from uh, Toragi because you want to have his uh, ally protection to be up at specific point in time and now it's auto. Yeah, uh, to make sure that the ally protection from Turagi is uh, up always uh, on clan boss A1, A2, so those big AOE hits. Okay, so let me um, tell you a little bit more about this build. So full synchronization will take at uh, turn count 7. So. Till that time, uh, the team is preparing, <laughs> I would say, uh, for this uh, tune uh, because uh, of the uh, speed manipulation from Haikatoon, also increased speed. Uh, so, um, yeah, uh, so we need a uh, few turns to make it work. Okay, so now we got a count five, so I will mm, at the uh, turn count 7, slow it down to try to explain what's going on. So far you see there is a lot of uh, buffs, okay. So now we got turn count 6, okay so one more. One more and we can see what's going on. Okay, so big damage from Ratalos. So he, he will have all his buffs uh, uh, that are required up, so increase attack, yeah now from uh, Brogni, increase attack, increase uh, crit damage from himself, increase speed, ally protection, uh, big shield plus block debuffs, yeah, um, so what else uh, we see here, uh, I think the most important thing is A1 from Toragi, if he will not land his decrease attack, uh, yeah, and uh, the end of the run could be happen earlier, but uh, because this is a 2 to 1 speed, um, it, uh, he will have a lot of opportunities to, to land his uh, A1 and try to 
uh, decrease uh, clan boss uh, attack. Um, so maybe let's try to after the next uh, clan boss uh, attack, let's try to count all the attacks. So Rattalus 1, Brogni 2, Valerie 3, Toragi 4, Haikatun 5. Then Rattalus 6, Brogni 7, Valerie 8, Toragi 9, and Haikatun 10. So 10 moves on one move of the clan boss. So that's the 2 to 1 uh, idea uh, for this um, team composition. Pretty good one. Uh, you need to be very careful about the speeds, as I mentioned before. So just uh, you can mess it up uh, by just adding one or two speeds here and there. You need to be careful. Uh, but luckily for me, it was start working from the beginning uh, because I was using the Deadwood Jedi calculator to just ensure that this tool will work. This is a great tool. Uh, I would highly encourage you to just give a go and try it. Okay, so let's take a look on the damage uh, point of sight. Uh, so on um, 14 uh, turn count, you got uh, almost 10 millions which is good, so this is for sure more than half a million per turn which is pretty decent uh, Void Affinity is generally great because uh, mm, we don't have weak hits so on weak hits we are losing a lot of uh, potential from this team so if, uh, for example, as it was yesterday uh, clan boss was forced, so uh, I saw a lot of weak hits from Brogni, so his uh, A1 was not working with HP burn, uh, which is uh, very important for Atalos. Oh, for example, like now, <laughs> 1 million damage in one, one a hit, this is huge. Uh, also, Toragi was uh, weak hitting a lot uh, and his decrease attack was not there. Um, yeah. And also clan boss was hitting harder uh, all the blue guys <laughs> including valeri so toragi was uh, dying in around i would say 28 or about 30. so the idea here is to just uh, put a lot of damage in the shorted sh shortened uh, time as possible yeah, so, so far so good. So if you got uh, different uh, affinities from clan boss, so on A2 and A1, he's hitting multiple times, so Toragi passive will uh, have chance to put a lot, much more uh, poisons on the clan boss. Which is, uh, that, that's why Toragi is so strong here, because pois poisons are dealing a lot of damage. 50k uh, per, per tick, which is a lot. HP burn does, I think, 75k, or maybe it's a little bit different. Yeah, but hard to say. So we got both HP burn and poisons from time to time, but so far I see HP burn most of the time in the fight, which is good. So we got another big hit, another HP burn, that's perfect. So Rotalos will have... So no, now he have uh, a lot chance to shine, but that's what I'm saying. So this team is built around uh, generally Rotalos, because he synergizes a lot uh, with this team. So increased speed, he, he can run faster, run tw twice per uh, clan boss turn, HP burn uh, from Brogni and increase attack uh, from him to, to uh, boost his damage to, to the max as possible. And yeah, so, wow, that was a big hit, turn 25, barely survived. Yeah, so, so to, how to improve this team? Yeah, just put more stats to the gear, improve uh, the Great Hall uh, to give more, more HP, more defense, so then you can survive longer. That's the idea. So we got already past 20 millions, which means we are good for 4 key. Uh, 
to have a secured 4 key you need to like 19 millions of damage so we already got 22 millions in turn count 27 which is decent yeah, so another big hit from Rotalos. So generally he is the main source of the damage. Okay, so <laughs> looks like that will be all uh, in this run. Uh, yeah, so if I'm not sure if I notice correctly, so if decrease attack is uh, up or not. Uh, degree, yeah, and sometimes clan boss uh, yeah, try, uh, will, will hit uh, with the critical hit. So the, and this can cause some problems also uh, because uh, his damage will be increased by 50%, which is a lot, which is really a lot. So yeah, so regarding to the damage, so Haikatun barely, yes, Jojo's Warmaster Prox, also um, Valerie, Turagi, Warmaster plus uh, some poisons, Brogni, Brogni is uh, without Warmaster, probably. Uh, giving him War Master will give a little bit more damage, but that's probably HP burns. And Rotalos, like almost 15 million of damage. Yeah, so that, that, that's the uh, current situation. So this is 23 million if we'll, this is almost 3 keys, right? Because you need uh, 70 million. Um, yeah, which, which looks good. So 3 more runs and we, we are ready. Okay, so if you like it, uh, if you want to know more about this build, uh, how it works, uh, more details or, or to explain a little bit more a uh, few things, yeah, so please let me know in the comments and see you on the next one. Cheers!